They can't see me. I told you. I come over their house and I crush them. Take All of them together. Move. Get off of me. Because I'm too sweet. What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDangles.com. Um, it's got to be like 3, 3.12 in the morning or 313 now, December 22nd, 2016. Technically the first day of vacation that I have through the end of the year. So I think I go back to work on December 3rd, which I believe is a Tuesday. I'm up here watching TV, watching Netflix. I was just thinking about what my objective is and the things that I wanted to do during my vacation. So figured it'd be a, as good as time as any to kind of talk about that. So really, I just got three main objectives. Uh, the first objective, obviously, is to get a lot of progress and work done up at the new building and the restaurant. So I'm going to throw myself into that. Second thing is I definitely want to make sure that I spend a lot of quality time with family. So I really want to spend time with my daughter, my wife. Of course, you know, we got Christmas coming up family so i just want to spend real not just spend time with them but quality time last but not least i want to declutter and reconnect go through my life my closet my mindset everything that i do and feel and think about and kind of reset you know reset as far as how i meditate um, my relationship with god you know how i spend my time just rethink things and reconnect you know, you always got to hit that reset button, get back to basics. You know, I'm just taking a day. Last couple of days has been really hectic as far as work is concerned because, you know, I had to get everything taken care of. I had a lot of really important meetings with a lot of people and I wanted to get a lot of work done, not only for my regular job, but in life in general. So everything has been really hectic, but it's all right. And, you know, hitting the reset button and I just want to enjoy myself. So I'll see you when the sun comes up. Let me show you something. See all that, pots, pans, all that type of stuff. All stuff for the restaurant. Right now, Les and I is about to make some runs and hit the streets for a little bit, baby. Since it's uh, the 22nd of December, just leaving out of the courthouse. I had to deal with lawsuits, just a standard response or whatever, but since they were supposed tomorrow, I had to make sure I took care of it today. The sooner the better as usual. Both Leslie and I are about to go and get something to eat. Who knows what can happen after that, but it's always business first, and then you go and have fun later. So you saying that I should bring you here every day to eat free? You don't want to come here every day, it's free? I need that in my life. Have your milk. need this in my life. This is the conclusion that Leslie and I came up with. Yes. Leslie doesn't play with toys anymore. Right, Les? Right, Les? <laughs> so we're gonna ho go ahead and get rid of all our toys. No, we not. Shh. Stop being loud. Okay. We gonna get rid of we all not, our toys. No, we not. No, we not. No. Nope. It'll be just a minute for everything else. I just okay. brought hers out. Funny face for a funny face. We're thinking about getting rid of all her toys and giving it away to people less fortunate. You don't even play with toys anymore, Les, like that. Why are you eating the eyes? Now they're bleeding. His eyeballs are bleeding. So Leslie was asking me why I tipped, how much I tip. Around Christmas time, I generally like to tip close to 100%. Whatever my total bill is, pretty much how much I tip. Let's just say hypothetically, if your bill is $50, tip close to $50. Because I'm super duper blessed. I had a really, really good year. Probably one of the best years I've had on record unofficially you know when you get an opportunity I give away a lot of money but then at the same time I try to find opportunities to give it away to people that you know work hard and I really have a lot of admiration for people in the service industry I think that people that do customer service and servers and stuff like that super duper underappreciated me I don't necessarily say anything or make other people do it but I always personally make sure that I do my part you guys know I live my life like an open book Leslie was just asking a question what was your question why I was getting sued I don't want to get specific without getting too technical about it I'm explaining to her a lawsuit is a way in which the state can help oversee the justification of whether or not somebody is owed money or not 
So if somebody says, hey, Anton owes me money and he won't give it to me, or I feel like I'm owed more than he's given to me, or because this happened to me and it's his fault, he should pay for it. They go to courts and they sue you. And then a judge is supposed to dictate whether or not they're justified in suing you or whether they're not justified and what happens as a result, how much you really owe them and, and stuff like that. So think a really fair way for why are they suing me? You're asking me the specifics of why I was being sued today. Yeah. I can't answer that on camera, <laughs> but I'll tell you after the camera goes off. But I think it's a good question and I don't shy away from the difficult subject. I don't just show her the good stuff. I show her everything because it's important for understand what life is really about and, and you know, to learn the lessons of how to approach things versus running away from it and acting like it don't exist. I'm a real talk type of parent. Did the dishes, emptied out the dishwasher, dusted, wiped all the tables down, made up the bed, vacuumed the floors, threw a load in. Time to get up out of here. And Leslie has a disguise on again today. She's been wearing a different disguise every day. I don't know what that means. Being off of work for a few weeks and being able to really work with less, I'm able to teach her some things and Number one, one of the things that I want to teach her is being proactive. You know, if you take care of stuff before her mother gets back or gets home and stuff like that, not only does she not have anything to complain about, but she's going to be in a happier mood. And don't wait for somebody to have to tell you anything. You just knock it out, take care of it, and that way you can go about doing what you want to do and be in about your day without any problems, issues, or trouble. I'm over here visiting my nephews. And I'ma just say for the record, I absolutely destroyed them in Smash yesterday. They're not gonna admit it, but destroyed him in Smash yesterday. Destroyed him in Smash yesterday. And there's one more victim I gotta find for you guys. Hold on. Happy birthday. Thanks a lot, man. Yo, me and Klee, we go back decades. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So happy birthday, Klee. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, it's always happy to know somebody uh, as cool as you, man. Appreciate it. See, Clee is the man. We yeah, like Clee. Some things don't change, man. Being cool is so like you. It don't change. And that's the third you guy I absolutely destroyed yesterday. You didn't destroy me? You see the denial? You did not destroy me. I'm going to catch it on camera catch today. Catch it on camera today. Or the whole three rounds. <laughs> then we'll see it. <laughs> no! Take my time! No! No! <laughs> Yo, I just want to let y'all know. Look at the losers. Come here, Jane, don't run. Look at both. They all came against me at the same time and got crushed. I won. Say something. I won. Leslie, who just won? Yeah. Tell the truth. Yeah, he won that one round. No, I he just won, won three in a row. So. They can't see me. They, I told you. Two. I come over their house and I crush them. Take all it. of them hey, together. Take, Move. Hey, take Get off of me. Because I'm too sweet. <laughs> who can stop me? I can. Then how come you ain't got more wins than me? Because I haven't been playing. Yes, you was playing. Oh. Don't let them lie to y'all. Come over people's houses and crush them in their own game. Shout out to Omar on the gas station. Young guy, real cool, my guy. Gave me a $10 gift card today. I'm glad that people are in the Christmas spirit. We take care of each other. He's a really cool guy, but I thought that was just really dope that when I came in, he had that put up for me. So it's just the thought that counts, man. Everybody is, is good people that I surround myself with, good friends. Everybody want to see everybody do well. I will have your food for you ready when you come out. See you in a little bit. You doing two classes? Yeah. Okay. Let me take my coat off so I can tell y'all how small this world is. Guy I graduated high school with, his name is Adam Torres. You guys know Ty Lopez. It's the, you know, a whole bunch of books in my garage type of guy. So I follow Ty Lopez on YouTube or whatever. I follow his videos. I think he has some really good and useful information. So I'm looking at like one of his latest videos and he's going through his house. Adam Torres is on there teaching a, I guess a stock market class and for one of his accelerator courses or whatever. We've got my accelerator twice a month live call. Adam Torres is teaching on investing in the stock market. So we just finished a live chat with Adam Torres hanging out with Ty Lopez. Thanks for doing the call. Awesome, awesome. man. Really appreciate you teaching having me people. out here. I've got a business accelerator and he was teaching them stock market tips so people always want to know how to invest their money i had seen a couple videos with adam but i didn't know he was you know tied in with ty lopez so that's dope 
I'm glad. I'm happy for him. I'm glad that everything is going well. I love to see when people are successful, especially that I know personally or I grew up with or whatever like that. So glad that you're doing well, homie. Shout out to you, Adam Torres and uh, Ty Lopez. She is going crazy in there over Family Feud. That's for the dog. Cause it's better. Thing on the carpet. Mm -hmm. Two things on the carpet. In which city do the trendiest people live? L.A. Like, what you say? In what city do the trendiest people live? Stop, You're real into this. Oh, I can't even work. I hope you guys can do it. Ah! <laughs> this is the second time this week. Boy, if you could have heard her before I even started recording, it was crazy up in there. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ask for something really good. What do you want? Really good. Yeah. So now I'm right now to have no bad breath. You don't need it no more. You might need it. I'm not even gonna feed into it. Do yeah. you know what this is? I'm gonna give you a regular. I'm gonna give you a warm hug. That's the. How, I do want to check this out though. Can I yeah. so, okay. network. It's time to help you. Show you how to hook it up. I'm sure it's just Bluetooth or something. Signing off. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that I need to add in? Um. Just visit us at AntonDaniels.com. No less. We can't tell them the name of the restaurant yet. I'm not ready for them to know that yet. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.